Hello everyone, this is Emery from Rick's Time Lapse, and today it's an exciting video, it's an exciting vlog. It's gonna be more of a travel vlog, you know, I've shared in the video before that I wanna share with you more travel videos, but obviously I'm gonna do a lot of time lapses because I'm with time lapse travels. Hey guys. Right there, I got Brian, and we are on our way to Zion National Park. It's gonna be an amazing experience. We're gonna spend 10 days traveling to six different national parks and Monument Valley which is an Indian reservation. So this is what we're gonna do today. I mean today, today for you, the next 10 days for us. So follow us, it's gonna be awesome. I saved half an hour driving already. Why? Because I'm going so fast. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at these we got pulled here. over three times already. <laughs> but at least we're going fast. <laughs> We're saving time though. So we're gonna get there at 3.16 p.m. right now. So we'll, we'll keep it's it posted. It's pricey, but you know, yeah. time is money. We can't miss that sunset. We saw a sign that is saying, Eddie World, which is the biggest gas station in California. And it's like half a mile away from here. So let's go take a look at it. Okay, I'm, we are definitely a bit disappointed. There's a Tesla <laughs> supercharger, which is kind of cool. But I've seen bigger gas station in California, though the building looks like a grocery store. And there's also a giant ice cream that looks like a water tower. Let's see what the biggest gas station in California has to offer. Ugh. It definitely offers wind. This is really windy. Probably, I don't know if you can hear me, but biggest gas station in California. And it's a rip off, I think. Wasn't that uh, cool inside? And <laughs> There's a giant ice cream thing out there, but it's not that big. That's what she said. Yeah. Was... Turn right on Calico Road. Then turn right to I-15 North. Turn right to I-15 North. Vegas is behind us now. We've been driving for a little bit over four hours. We're still gonna be driving in Nevada for a little bit. And then we're gonna cross Arizona, I think for like 10, 20 minutes. And then finally Utah. New Jersey, you have people pump your gas. So here I was a little bit lost. It took me three times until Emmerich came and saved me. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do a quick tutorial here at Chevrolet. <laughs> time-lapse company card. Let me show the number though. Okay, lift handle, okay. Yeah. Put it right there. Pick the regular one. Yeah, 87. <laughs> I'm gonna send you to your parents. <laughs> but I keep pressing. It's going. You dying? Yeah, it's going. How do you feel? It's feel awesome. <laughs> First time in months. Look. This is fucking hilarious. Look how, it's, look how expensive it is too. 499, look at that. It's pretty cheap for 2022 standards. All right, Get it, good. man. And then close this too. Oh, God, for almost forgot. I believe we are in Utah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are, we just passed St. George, Utah. And now we, we lift the freeway for the highway all the way to Zion. We are 38 minutes away. It's been a long drive, six hours and 37 minutes already.
Let's do this. Are you excited? Yeah, we're at the laundry now, about to check in here, so. Seven hours, 15 minute drive. So tired. Hi, how are you? How are you? Nice to hear you're a Diamond member. Thank you so much for being a loyal yeah, so. Best Western guest. You want to buy your bags now? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Hello. Amazing to be in Utah right now. So excited. We're gonna go, we just checked in. It's kind of chilly, so I think I'm going to change my clothes. I mean, still in Californian uh, outfit right now. All right, cut. Wow. <laughs> This is oh, the first time you see this world. We have a balcony. Amazing. <sighs> We're in Zion, guys. Let me show you the view. Wow. So right now it is raining. Uh, it's only 5.18. Hopefully by the end of uh, the day, it should clear up. Let's see what the weather say here. Springdale. Yeah, technically around 8, around sunset, it should clear up. Should clear up, hopefully. Sunrise tomorrow morning could be nice. Yes. One. Two. Oh, thanks. Cheers, man. I can't open it. <laughs> you know, we're kind of working with Best Western, so we have to shoot some time lapses of the area, and I'm gonna do some drone shots for the uh, for the video, the car driving in, and then maybe just you know some drone shots of the property. Kind of look good for Best Western and for the YouTube video as well. Looks nice. How far can I go in the back? So there's a fire pit at the hotel, I just turned it on because it's a little bit cold. It feels so good right now. Uh, don't know why we didn't do this earlier. I can see some uh, blue sky over there, so I feel like we might have a nice sunset if it clears up. Finger crossed for the first sunset here in Zion National Park. We can fly the drone there, but you know, we might be able to get some nice sunset time lapse which is what we're here for. All right, time to go to Zion National Park for the first time. <sighs> Pretty excited. Got the uh, National Park Pass. I got the National Park Pass, actually ends in nine days, so we good. We're about to enter the park right now. Got the, uh, the annual pass right there. Yeah, I bought which, it in Joshua Tree last year. This is the second time I'm going to be using it. We're just going to save us a ton of money because we're going to five or six national parks here, each of them. It's like $90 yeah. for a pass. And once it's usually 30 bucks per park. At least 30 bucks. If you do at least three parks, it's already money saved. Yes. So good investment. Good investment. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. Hi. Hi. Can I get a map, please? Sure. I need you to print your name on the back. Is that valid until there's a name oh. on it? We in! We're we in the did park. it! So far, it's pretty much like outside the park, but it looks beautiful. <laughs> We have all the gear right now. Beautiful Zion. Trying to find a, a view that is not too uh, busy with, with trees. You can see the river down there. I see uh, some sort of uh, trail over there. <sighs> Ow, this hurts. Oh. Yeah, it looks like there's actually a trail. The other one? Yeah, like the next one. I think so, the next one's gonna be a better view. If you start the trail from Grand Junction Bridge, there's actually a paved trail that's gonna take you to two different bridges. And I think the second one is the best one. It's the most beautiful view. Oh yeah. That looks amazing right here, you know? That's the third bridge. You can actually park near the Kenyon Junction Bridge and then you have to walk for like five minutes. It's a really easy hike. And so we're gonna set up a tripod from the from the bridge up there and then hopefully get a nice sunset in our cameras. Pretty excited about this. 
<sighs> it's nice to shoot something else than cityscapes for once. The bridge is shaking like crazy every time some people are passing. So I'm using the clamp because the railing is a bit better, but it's still really bad. And Brian is using the, his bean bag. And as a safety, he's just <laughs> staying near the camera. Professional here. Professional, but at least it's a good spot. Hey, look at this. We have some cool colors right there. But it's not in our shot yet and it's raining. The entire bridge is shaking every time we move a little bit. This is what life is all about. It's enjoying a sunset beer. Hopefully there's some good colors. I'm kind of worried about the uh, railing moving and then hopefully there's not much uh, water droplets, but I'm at F4, so that would help with the uh, water droplets not showing up as much. Hey, it can't work every time, but every time we have a good time. Oh, <laughs> that was nice. early but it's clear can wow the stars are crazy you can see the stars really well Ooh. <laughs> okay dude this is scary shit <laughs> ah! It's going to be rising in, I think, 15 minutes. It might take another half hour before we start seeing the light. But you can see the whole rocks already started to lit up a little bit. So I'm going to start a time lapse and, and then, you know, start it for like a good day tonight. Night today this time. We're shooting now. I'm doing 30 mil, five second interval. You doing what? Eight second interval? Yeah. Super wide angle, so since we're shooting for the company, we just check, you know, who's shooting wide so we don't shoot the same thing exactly. Super quiet, but the sun is finally peaking right there at the top. So now it's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna change my settings um, because I'm shooting in um, manual mode as always, but it's a beautiful scenery. Look who's behind us. Five people. The sun is here. Finally, we've been shooting some shorter intervals. And then I think we're gonna be ready to go home at some point. Go home, go back to the hotel and get some food. Now the challenge is to go back home to the hotel. Uh, it's not a very easy trail to follow. So I'm kind of lost. No, I think I got it now. Brian is over there. There's just trails going everywhere with footsteps everywhere. So where the f are we going? Is this over there? I'm so hungry. I'm tired. I want to pee. What am I doing with my life? I 
it's not really a hard hike but you have to just watch your steps because it's a lot of rocks and small spaces right now it's, there's water puddles so it's slippery you have to be careful but it's a beautiful hike otherwise We spent like two hours at the pool in the jacuzzi, hot tub, it was amazing. But now it's time to go shoot those puffy clouds in the sky. So we're heading back to the to the park. Probably go back to the same bridge spot or somewhere around it because it's probably gonna be crowded and we know we can't really shoot from the bridge. It's like too shaky, it just doesn't work. So we might try to find a spot nearby to shoot from you know the solid ground and not have any problem with the you know blurry images. That's gonna be the challenge today, but damn, this park is beautiful. Thanks for having this ready for me. Do you need any uh, maps or anything? No, we're okay. I'm good. Have Thank you. Time. You too. Get a pass, dudes. Get a pass. Yeah! We found a parking spot. Yeah, that, that's Are you good. happy? Let's go. Did you get a like a time lapse up by the bridge there? We can, yeah. Like, he's like, I have like a long exposure. exposure so I can have long exposure. Yeah. Right now, we're showing the clouds. There's so many beautiful clouds. So I stopped by the road. I'm gonna do a quick time lapse here using ND filter and polarizer. It's gonna be amazing. I need my intervalometer and we can start the time lapse. Let's go. It looks like those cartoons from. Um, you know, Warner Brothers, uh, Willie Coyote, <laughs> and beep beep. <laughs> it looks exactly like this here. <laughs> This park so far has been the most challenging because it's not easy to find a good location. But I'm gonna go back to my camera. I have my camera right down there. It's been quite a ride to get all the way to where I am right now because it's not really, really a trail on the other side of the river. But it's fine, some good workout. Woo. It's like a tiny beach right here. Look at this. <laughs> There's nothing but the river. I am stuck. Definitely at risk if there's a flash flood but it should be fine today I don't think there's any warning found the perfect composition and it's right here it was really hard to access but so worth it <laughs> I just wanted to share something um, first of all the landscape is beautiful I just wanted to say that it's probably the first time in a long time that I'm finally feeling relaxed because I don't know what it is. I'm enjoying my time here in the park and I've been to other national parks and most of the time I still had anxiety, I still had 
stress and doubts and everything and for the first time in a long, long time, probably years, just enjoying the view and I stopped and just looked at the view and listened to the river and looked at the clouds, the clicks of my camera, it's just, it's been so relaxing. Really, I can feel so good right now. I'm showing another one facing like this way. I forgot the name of this uh, rocks, mountains. Are they mountains or just big ass rocks? <laughs> I don't know. It's not the biggest park in, in California, in California, in, in the US, but it's one of the most relaxing in my opinion. It's so chill compared to Yosemite. To my, Yosemite is beautiful, don't get me wrong, but Yosemite, I don't know. I had some anxiety it was super crowded i think it's the right time of the year here it's like late april i don't know i feel good thanks for watching another one of these crazy parks where you don't know what to expect and yet it's a different world we are going to dead horse point state park the sunset could be either epic or completely crap. Yeah, we're pretty much at the end of the park. So we're pretty far from Moab, which is the biggest light pollution. First thing I'm going to do is take the view. Oh my. <laughs> this is insane. Whoa. 